I wanted to focus on a few particular Toronto Blue Jays players. They, they need a team. They need a team from top to bottom. And um, sometimes it's the moves that look like minor moves on paper that end up paying huge dividends. So I'm not singling anybody out as in these three guys that I'm going to talk about this evening are the most important, they're more important than anyone else. That That's not what I'm saying. I'm just... There, there's three guys that I've been giving some thought to who I'm fairly confident that we're going to see some good things from these guys uh, going forward in 2023. So the first one, <laughs> no, no surprise, a big favorite of mine, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So <laughs> he's, uh, we, we've heard about him long before he ever took the field as a major league player. He's the oldest son of Vladimir Guerrero Sr., who's in Major League Baseball's Hall of Fame. And uh, we heard all about uh, young Vlad Jr. and his talents, um, that he was just as, just as good a hitter as his father, but maybe a little bit more patient. <laughs> but Vlad Sr., I, I don't even know how many walks he had, but <laughs> couldn't have been that many. The, the way he would swing at balls, uh, way outside the strike zone, and, and, the, and the uncanny thing is he would hit them more often than not. Um, but uh, Vlad Jr., everybody always told us he was a generational talent, and we couldn't wait to, to see it actually happen. So he came up in 2019, um, and he had a decent rookie season. He had his ups and downs, uh, had a weighted runs created plus of 106, he played third base back then, unfortunately, not very well. I, I think his uh, error rate, his out, outs above average, were dead last for all major league uh, infielders. Um, 2020, as we know, that that was the pandemic-shortened season. Uh, they played 60 games regular season. Weighted runs created plus was a little bit better. It was 110. Um, they also moved Vlad uh, over to first base, and uh, he, he still wasn't really that great at it, unfortunately. Um, 2021, we, we saw a breakout season from Vlad Jr. He uh, finished second in league MVP voting to Shohei Otani, who's a phenomenal player in his home right. Uh, but many other seasons, Guerrero Jr. would have a league MVP to his name already. His numbers were good enough that he could have won. It's just that what Otani did was, <laughs> it's almost historic. I, I mean, it, he excels at being a pitcher and a hitter. So, um, but uh, yeah, uh, Junior, he, yeah, so he had weighted runs created plus a 166 in 2021. Um, and he also, he worked on his fielding and became a much better fielding first baseman. Um, he also made his first uh, All-Star Game appearance and uh, actually ca captured uh, the MVP award uh, for the All-Star Game. So he does have an MVP, uh, not the one that I thought he'd have, but he'll he'll have at least one of those before it's it's over. I'm sure of that. Um, 2022, uh, unfortunately, he took a little bit of a step back, still had a good season, just not as good as it had been in 2021. So it runs creative plus of 132, um, also won his first, first career gold glove at first base. So congratulations, Vlad. And honestly, I appreciate stats. I, I mean, I'm an accountant. I'm, bleh, I am an accountant by trade. So I enjoy math. I'm not saying that I don't believe in numbers, but I really think there are certain things that can't be quantified. And when you look at outs above average or defensive runs save, maybe Guerrero's numbers defensively didn't jump out at you all that much. But when you watch him day in and day out and all the errors that he saved his teammates by, by saving bad throws, I, I mean, honestly, I have no doubt whatsoever that he deserved that gold glove. So fantastic performance there. Keep it up. And um, I think we're going to see something special from him in 2023. We haven't seen the last of the MVP caliber Guerrero Jr. I think he's going to have a season that's around what he did in 2021. Or you know what? I wouldn't be too shocked to see him exceed that. 
and, and those might be bold words, but I believe in this young man. I believe in his talents. I think a full season of John Schneider, even though I like Charlie Montoyo, sometimes you have to have, you know, sometimes you need to see a replacement in action on what they can do to make you appreciate that, that maybe what you thought was good wasn't as good as you thought. I, I don't know. <laughs> Doc Maris, Vlad Sr. had 9,059 career plate appearances, 737 walks. I noticed he had 103 hit by pitches. Wow. Thank you for those stats. And 250 intentional walks. Okay. So <laughs> you, you look at the unintentional walks and what's, what is that walk percentage? It's, it's not very high. <laughs> I, I'd have to calculate that. I, I don't, yeah, <laughs> have to have a look at that sometime, but thank you for that information. Very helpful. Um, yeah, so I just, I'm, I'm expecting a really big season from Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in 2023. I think the combination of having John Schneider at the helm, and I think having Don Mattingly as, as bench coach is going to help so much. I mean, for all that he's done in his career as a player, he succeeded. I, I mean, he, he was a league MVP himself. So whether he can do something and, uh, and help Guerrero Jr. or even one or two others, other players on the team maximize their potential, I have a very good feeling about it and, and I'll be keeping a close eye on it. So 